There are a lot of test books which are used for preparing for jam, each with different peculiarities and qualities. In this video, I'll be taking you through some of the test books which has helped me pass my exams and get me into medical school. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jose Fadris, a medical student at the University of Lauren. And in this video, I'll be taking you through some of the textbooks which I used in order to get into medical school. So, there are the textbooks which simplifies things for me. So, they are basically the textbooks which I used in order to prepare for my jump. The number of textbooks which I used to prepare for jump. And I will recommend you use the jump recommended textbooks first. Yeah, jump recommended some textbooks in the jam brochure so you can get the list of recommended textbooks there but there are also some other beneficial textbooks which are not recommended by jam but are okay and you can use them so and in this video i'll be taking through some of those books which i use so basically for medical students who are applying medical applicants you have to write four subjects in your jam examination which are the use of english physics chemistry and biology so in this video i'll be taking you through the textbooks which are used particularly in all these four subjects in order to ace my jam exam we start with the use of english the textbook which i would recommend here is invisible teacher by daily ashadi this is by far the best textbooks ever i've seen in order to prepare for my english language this is not a hype so it is the book I can recommend to applicants who want to take the jam examination and who are sitting for the use of English. So this book is divided into different chapters with each chapters and its ruling and how to apply it and some, some specific jam question which have that kind of ruling in it. It not only simplifies things for you, the book also have a section whereby after each particular ruling a similar jump question is shown to you and you have to apply it there so a similar past question is shown like obeying that rule which you have to apply so it breaks things down oral oral english modal auxiliaries phrasal verbs concord it breaks it down for easy understanding and I really, really recommend this book. And another book written by the same author is A to Z in English Language by Delia Ashadi as well. Uh, this book is also nice, it's good. But Invisible Teacher is by far the best I can recommend for anyone who wants to write jam use of English. So for biology, I would recommend Essential Biology. Yeah, Essential Biology is the textbook I find useful to me because it is straight to the point and each point is listed in a very coherent manner and they are very good in terms of diagrams and labelings. Another book which I will recommend for you in order to understand concepts is Modern Biology. I found this, this very useful especially for understanding of systems, the nervous, the respiratory, the circulatory systems. This book is very good in terms of understanding the systems but for examination purpose and for getting the key points, I recommend Essential Biology. It is good. Use it very well. Study it in between the lines. Read it and you will find out that it is just as if everything was screenshotted from your textbooks and shoved into your examination. So I recommend Essential Biology as well as Modern Biology for better understanding. For physics, I would recommend New School Physics as well as Secondary School Physics by Professor Okeke. At first, I started with New School Physics. It is a nice book, a very good book. But when I get the Secondary School Physics, I found out that this is very, very good as well. So I give both of them the same rating, but Secondary School Physics is more dearer to me than New School Physics, even though I recommend both and I use them hand in hand. So these two physics are basically good for understanding physics concepts and as well solving physics problems as well so these two books i will recommend it for 
anyone who wants to write physics in German. The best book which I used and a lot of students swear by it is Lamlad Chemistry by two professors from Obafemi Awolowo University. So it is by far the textbook that made me fall in love with chemistry. And the thing unique about this textbook is not just the way it is coherently explained. After each topic, multiple choice questions on that topic will be given to you, which you have to solve and score yourself to test how good you are in the topic and your understanding of the topic. So it is very good. And also for solving physics and chemistry problems like stoichiometry, uh, radioactivity, a lot of chemistry problems. So it is very good in explaining all these concepts. And another book which I will recommend is New School Chemistry, popularly called Ababio. This book is very good for the in-depth understanding of concepts like metals and their compounds, the catalyst used, and different things in, in that area. So I will recommend Ababio, New School Chemistry. And also there's another good textbook which a lot of people talk about, but I haven't used it, Understanding Chemistry. Yeah, it is. It's, it has a good review, a good rating, and also you can check that out and see if you are like that as well. But the ones I've listed are the ones I use personally and they help me in getting into medical school. So this is just the summary of the books I used. There are a lot and a lot of good textbooks out there which you can to use, use, but these are just what I personally use and they work for me. So that brings us to the end of this video. So if you enjoy the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as well, if there are other textbooks which you have used, and it has greatly helped you, please put it in the comment down below. Someone might benefit from it. And also, if you find this video useful to someone out there, please do good by sharing it to them. And as well, don't forget to subscribe as I release video every new week. So until next time, my friend, bye-bye.